A recent report from Forbes confirms that owning a vending machine is one of the easiest and most cost-effective small business ideas. Because of this, you can start earning a return on your investment the moment that you set up your first vending machine. So if you're ready to turn gumballs into gold bars with cheap candy machines, here's everything you need to know to get started with your candy machine business. What you'll need to get started. The first thing that you'll need to do is find a reputable vending machine supplier. A few of the biggest names in the biz include Rhino, Carousel, Roadrunner, and Titan, although there are many other options too. You can purchase new machines from a site like gumball.com, or you can always seek out gently used machines on eBay, Craigslist, or Facebook Marketplace. Machines can vary significantly in price, but a simple single head gumball machine or a similar machine will likely run you anywhere between $300 to $700 brand new. Machines tend to retain their value when they're in decent condition, but you can still get a pretty big discount by choosing a gently used machine. Right now, used gumball machines are selling on eBay for as little as $150. After purchasing a machine, you'll need to stock up on candy. Gumballs, other candy, and toys can all be purchased in bulk in a variety of places. Gumball.com is once again one of the best places to start when looking for affordable candy to stock your machines with. Other great options include CandyMachines.com, CandyWarehouse.com, and of course, Amazon. When you buy in bulk, gumballs can be as cheap as 2 to 4 cents a gumball, giving them some of the highest profit margins of any candy on the market. They also have an extremely long shelf life and aren't affected much by sunlight, so they're a safe choice to start with for beginners who might not have prime real estate locked down just yet. Besides gumballs, vending machine owners often stock their machines with candies like Runts, Jelly Beans, Mike and Ikes, Jawbreakers, M&Ms, and Skittles, all of which you can also find in bulk for pretty reasonable prices. When it's all said and done, you can start this business with as little as $200. Placing your machine. What you'll make in a given week with your candy machine will ultimately depend on its location. If your machine is placed in a high traffic, visible area, you can make on average $1 to $2 a day without really having to do anything at all. And chances are, you won't have to refill your machine more than once or twice a month, unless you look out and manage to place your machine in a spot that ends up doing a lot of business. Some of the best places to put a machine include restaurants, grocery stores, convenience stores, shopping malls, skating rinks, bowling alleys, and laundromats. Of course, there are plenty of other places that your machine might do well in as long as it has steady foot traffic and generally a younger demographic. To secure a location for your machine, all you need to do is approach the owner of the business and propose setting up your vending machine in their space. Simply inform them that you'll service the machine all by yourself and that it will only take up a couple feet of space. You'll also have to offer them a percentage of your profits and will likely need to write up a written document that outlines these agreements. In general, you can expect to give this business owner anywhere from 15 to 33% of your profits. Candy Vending Machine Earnings Candy vending machines are usually pretty durable, so it's rare that they'll need any significant servicing. And even if they do, it's rare that any repairs require a high degree of technical know-how, and parts are also pretty easy to come by online. So even when accounting for maintenance and stocking your machines, most candy vending machine operators make somewhere between $30 and $60 a month per machine. Some highly performing machines may generate as much as $350 per month, according to the average owner. Obviously, if you're interested in turning this into a decent form of passive income that you could potentially live off of, you'll need to own and operate multiple candy machines. And if you're interested in giving this side hustle a try, you may want to test the waters by buying just one machine to start out with and then setting it up in a location that you think is going to do well. If your experiment succeeds, then you can consider investing in more machines and expanding your business. And when you're ready to upgrade, check out our video on how you can start a snack and drink vending machine business for even greater monthly income. We'll see you in the next video.